Common horse training mistakes, confusing your horse. The last thing you want to do when you're working with your horse is confuse them. And a lot of times we end up confusing our horses when we don't have clarity, when we're not clear in the way that we're asking our horse to do something. Let me show you an example. So sometimes, for example, I'll see people and they'll want their horse to back up. And what they'll do is they'll take their stick and they'll start tapping on their horse's chest and asking that horse to back up. And if that horse isn't backing up, then they'll get upset and they'll get big and loud. And then that horse will eventually back up. That's a pretty okay progression. However, let's be more clear, okay? If I want my horse to back up from pressure, you know, she can't really see, and, and Grace knows how to back up, so she's backing up pretty softly, but a green horse or a young horse, they can't see the pressure down here underneath their chest. Let me get nice and clear so she's not confused, right? You see already just getting out in front of her, getting big, getting clear, just my energy is telling her to drive backwards. And so in order to give her clarity, I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna kind of exaggerate the movement and be big, when she backs away, I'll back off the pressure as not to confuse her. Now, this is really important. You see how she crept forward? I'm gonna correct that and say, no ma'am, we are only going backwards right now. And you see how now I'm giving her clarity as to what my expectation is. If I had backed her up and then allow her, allowed her to come in forward without me asking, and I guarantee you, a lot of you at home, this is happening all the time, not just with backing up, but other exercises, where you ask for something and you have an expectation while you're doing it, but then once you release, you automatically forget about it and you start letting that horse creep up and creep up. And so horses need that clarity to say, I know that we weren't working on the exercise, but you still can't come forward until I ask you to. And you see how all I had to do was give her that clarity once and look at her. She's like, oh yeah, okay, let me, let me give you your space and stay away until you ask. And then when I'm ready, I'll say, okay, sweetheart, you can come, come in here. I'll add just a little bit of pressure and look how quietly and polite, oh, what a sweetheart. Quietly and politely uh, she comes in there. But you can see how she's very comfortable with me. She's relaxed and she's trusting, even though I'm telling her what to do, backing her up, bringing her, kind of yo-yoing her back and forth, because I'm clear. And she can trust that that clarity is always gonna be there for her.